This video is to announce the publication and the promotion of my new book, which is a second edition of my previous memoir. Now, oh, the promotion includes you, if you have an e-book reader, get to have a free copy of the second edition of my popular memoir, Desert Soliloquy, a perfectly sane misanthrope hides in the desert. The link to the free copy is down there, you know where, and feel free to use either one hand or both hands. I mean, I, everything is good. And I am putting this out there in paperback and hardcover, and those will be published as soon as I get the proofs back from the printers and approve that, and then off they go, ready for sale. The first edition copies are no longer available anywhere except maybe the Mojave River Museum. Yeah, they might have a few copies, but I'm going to list what I have added to the first edition to make the second edition. I have added 33 image plates. These will show some of the places that I visited when I was doing my desert adventure. And they also include images of my sexy brother, twin brother, therefore, you know, I'm sexy. And as well, images of historical events from the newspapers at the time. So I have images of newspapers that go back to the early 1880s all the way to, you know, like 1930, I believe. I have added a, a second epilogue. And this is regarding what I've been up to for the past 20 years. The, the adventure that I had, it pretty much ended around 2021 and no, two and a half or something like that. So I've updated what I've been doing the past 20 years. I have made minor corrections to the first edition and I've noted in the footnotes in the second edition what the corrections are, were. I have added a appendix number two, which is dedicated to the two guns man, Matt Burtz. He was a boot, boot, bleh, bootlegger and gun for hire and also a train robber. So people who are interested in the, the Wild West as it was in parts of California and Arizona, you might like that part of the book, uh, the second edition. That's the epi ep appendix number two. Pardon me, I have, you know, aphasia. And there's a third appendix. This is dedicated to the two guns man, Bob Holloman. He is the guy who shot the hat off of um, one of those people. Uh, Pat something. I'm sorry. My brain is fucked. And there's history from the newspapers about Bob Holloman included in Appendix 2. And I've also mentioned Bob Holloman and Matt Burtz in the first edition. And it's, of course, it stayed in the second edition. So the new appendix is expanding on both of those gunfighters. And when I'm talking two guns, gunfighters, I mean a pistol, a single action pistol on each hip and how they could use them at the same time to settle arguments, we shall say. Appendix four includes an adventure that readers can go on in the Avawatz mountain range. I have included a URL where readers can type that in and they will get a Google Earth file, which they can plug into their Google Earth software, and up comes an adventure that I suggest. And there's a, the appendix also includes suggestions on how the adventurers will uh, survive. Uh, it's a minor climb of about 2,500 feet, 
I believe, incline. And a, a good hiker, a decent hiker, can do that, you know, do the hike in maybe three hours at most, unless they're injured. The Appendix 5 holds the general history uh, of the area with sources. It's just some of the interesting stuff that I gathered from historical newspapers, um, such as the police officer who got stranded on foot in the desolate wasteland just to discover that for some odd reason, the canteen that a friend gave to him leaked. And when he went to use it, by golly, there's no water in there. I say, quote, friend, end of quote. Because, you know, a friend really wouldn't do that, would they? I don't know. And finally, a reading list has been added, which lists most of the sources of the events that I have written about in the memoir. And these are in footnotes. I've made over 160 footnotes added to the second edition so that if people want to look up uh, topics that I have mentioned in the memoir, they can do that while reading. And the electronic version is really good at that because they can just hover their tap their fingers on the screen or whatever they're using to read and they will get the footnote. The printed version will also of course have footnotes and the reading list is a suggestion for people who wish to learn more about the area. I've included several books about the subject. <clears throat> so free ebook version and you know where to look for that. And the promotion, I believe, will end on the 30th. So there's 50 copies of the free version out there for anybody who wants a copy to just go out there and grab it. And I believe there's only two versions of the ebook. I believe um, Kindle readers are generally preferred. I mean, it's the largest market. So Kindle reader has been um, added and it is time to go get a copy if you're interested. As for the print versions, as soon as those proofs are ready, they will be, the copies will be available to purchase on the Antichrist, uh, Amazon. But if a person wants to buy it through me, they will not pay as much and they will get a cool bookmark with the book. Also, of course, they will be autographed. Here is a, what I call a pre-proof. This is the new cover of the second edition. And I will put up a still image of the book cover now. So I'm looking forward to the promotion. Everybody go grab a copy. I suggest now. Dot dot.